Hi everyone. I wanted to make a video where I talk a little bit about what it was like to go to jail because this is something that people ask me about all the time and honestly I'm sick of telling everybody about it. I'm sick of telling everybody the same stories over and over again so now if I'm at a party and somebody asks me what it was like to go to jail I can just send them this YouTube video instead of explaining all the things that I explain over and over again. Um, I gotta say overall it was really not that bad. There were definitely parts of it that sucked um, off the top of my head. Going to the bathroom was really difficult because, you know, everybody's watching you constantly and I have a very shy bladder. Um, that sucked. But that is one of those things that you can kind of spin into a positive direction because it taught me to be less afraid to use the bathroom in front of other people. So now in my day-to-day -day life, I have a much easier time going to the bathroom. Um, I'm a very light sleeper, so people were very, tended to be, they snored a lot, you know, they were screaming and all sorts of things throughout the night, even though there are quiet hours. There's, they're not really enforced very much. Um, but again, another thing you can kind of spin into a positive because it taught me a lot of ways to be able to, you know, I feel like there's so many times when I would, used to wake up in the middle of the night and then not be able to go back to sleep and I'd be tossing and turning and all sorts of things. Um, jail taught me to really, I guess you could call it meditating, to be able to sort of within yourself no matter what's going on around you, be able to center yourself and then kind of find um, a way through the noise, basically, inside yourself and relax your brain, which was great. And that's a skill that I took with me into my day-to-day -day -day life. Um, the food was okay. It was kind of like they would mix it up every once in a while, but it was all kind of the same flavor profile, if that makes sense. So it was like if you if you every day for the rest of your life had to eat the same brand of TV dinner, that's what it was like. You know, there's different flavors, but it's all kind of the same general thing. Um, but it wasn't as bad as I expected, again. And you can get like, uh, you you know, you can go on the computer and get Doritos and, and whatever for on the commissary. So that's, that was nice. Um, it was nice to kind of have a little treats every once in a while. Um, the biggest thing that I will say about the experience is that in day-to-day -day life on the outside, I had a lot of anxiety and depression. And going into jail, for some weird reason, it completely eliminated all of that. Um, I liken it to, if you remember the early days of the pandemic, right at the beginning, when we really thought it was the apocalypse and everything locked down and we couldn't do anything, and we thought maybe we were all going to die, that, what you, I remember being very, very anxious about that one specific thing, but the general malaise, you know, the sort of existential dread that follows you around through your day-to-day -day life when everything is normal um, was gone. Because in day-to-day -day life, you know, you, can, you the fact that you can do anything, you're always kind of thinking to yourself, why am I not doing this thing? Why am I not doing that thing? I'm not good enough. Um, you know, I'm my life is getting running out. I'm running out of time. And so there's so many things I should be doing that I'm not doing and I'm not happy and I don't know how to make myself happy. All of that was gone because, you know, it, there was no reason to, you couldn't do anything. So you kind of had an excuse to just take that pressure off of yourself. And it was like an elephant lifted off of my chest. Um, so that was great. And the biggest thing that I noticed when I got out was that kind of came back because, you know, you should be really happy that you're out of jail and you're free, but then it's like, you know, okay, well now what? <laughs> um, the other big thing was that I, I was very lonely when I got out because in jail, I was constantly surrounded by people. Um, and that was, 
you know, it was nice. I don't know. Everybody's kind of in the same situation. Everybody was really nice. I, you know, I didn't notice any of the sort of things that you typically assume. The stereotypes where it's like, you know, Big Joe is the leader of the, of the chain gang or whatever. That was not a factor at all. Um, it was like any other social hierarchy. You know, if you get a, like, middle school or, or, uh, I don't know, The Office, where there's some people who are, not the TV show The Office, I'm talking about like, well, I guess this was in the TV show The Office to an extent, you know, you sort of, uh, there was one person who was kind of more popular and well-liked, and then everybody kind of falls into their place underneath that. But that's like any anywhere you get a group of people together, there's going to be that social structure. Um, overall, the community was very, very supportive. We were, you know, we, there was a lot of real talk, you know, because we could kind of talk about anything. We were all sort of in the same, oh gosh, it's really raining. I'm sorry. It's probably really noisy. Um, well, it adds to the atmosphere, I guess, right? You know, that's another thing about the uh, jail was that you could never tell what the weather was. That wore on me because I really am a, am a I get seasonal depression pretty easily. I am really affected by the weather and the, and the sunlight and all of that stuff. So not being able to even see if it was light out was tough. They let you outside sometimes, but it's, you know, it was kind of like recess in school. If you remember being in school, you were always on somebody else's schedule and you you could have that supervised time outside, but it was just kind of like, you know, it, it's, it was like you had a taste of freedom, but you couldn't quite get it. So it was even worse. I remember in preschool, I have a very vivid memory in preschool of being on the playground and looking at um, the preschool was really close to my house, so I, I remember being on the playground and looking at the CVS that was across the street. This is not sponsored. I'm just, that's just what it was. Um, and that was a CVS that me and my dad and my brother used to go to all the time on the weekend. And so I was looking at the CVS and thinking, oh my gosh, you know, it's like I'm free, but I'm not. You know, I wish it was Saturday and I wish I was just going or doing whatever I want. Um... You know, so that, I almost preferred spending the time inside. Uh, I got to read a lot, which was nice. I, I've learned this trick where if I put, I was really worried about fitting in, in the jail hierarchy. So I put glasses on and then that way it was sort of like, you know, the people, the, the guy on the TV show, who's like the brainiac, you know, um, that sort of, everybody thought that that was me. So then people would ask me, you know, uh, uh, to, to give them some sort of, you know, they asked me for like cool facts. Like, um, a one that they really got a kick out of was that dolphins are the only animal that can rape. Um, that was something that really was a big hit. And they, so they would ask me for stuff like that. Um, what else? Working out, I, uh, working out was something that I got to do a lot of um, because it, like, it's just one of those things, again, where it's so hard to discipline yourself to do that sort of thing in day-to-day -day life. You know, I remember I had, a, I had a Planet Fitness subscription for a while and it, you know, it was like you were, you were going to work and then you're going home and all this stuff. And when do you, have, when do you motivate yourself to find time to want to go? So in jail, it, it was really great because you could get into, if you started working out, then you just kind of forgot where you were. That was the stuff that was very helpful. The stuff where you sort of lose yourself, like books. Um, journaling was fun. Uh, working out, like I said. Um, yeah, so I'm honestly trying to, I think that that's mostly all of the major highlights. Um, I don't know. I mean, I would, I, it's, I have mixed feelings, honestly, because there were so many things about it that were really nice, but you know, it's nice to be able to, the feeling of freedom is nice. I think that the actual reality of freedom can be what gets tough. And it's kind of the inverse of jail. The idea of jail is really, really hard, but then the putting it into practice it's actually kind of nice. You sort of adapt to it. So, um, yeah, overall, really not the worst. Um, definitely not as bad as you would think. Um, and I don't know if maybe that was the specific jail that I went to. The, the, 
Um, the inmates were really nice. I have to say that actually the worst part was the staff. The, the uh, guards and all the people that worked at the jail were awful. They were just the worst. They were so mean. They, they had such a like power trip fantasy you know they were just barking orders at us and they you could tell they really thought they were hot shit even though i was like hey buddy if you work at the jail you're only one level higher in the social tier than people who are in the fucking jail so <laughs> this is gonna be you before you know it um you know but that's that's what it is i mean that's you know nobody likes authority really so uh people let to tend to let authority go to their heads in all sorts of facets of life um yeah i don't know i mean if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me but uh i think that's all that i that i can think of off the top of my head i'm happy to ask any questions it really doesn't bother me to talk about because like i said it was a good it, i was fine with it so not fine well yeah i mean it was kind of i don't know it was nice i don't know i mean people sort of have a weird response when I say that. You know, I, was, I, I the other day I was at a party and I was telling this lady that I went to jail and how great it was. And, um, and she couldn't really seem to wrap her head around that concept. Um, and, you know, when I tell people, especially people at LA that I went to jail, you can see that switch in their head flip where they turn into like a, a philanthropist or, you know, like the, the Sarah McLaughlin on the on those commercials where she's talking about the dogs that got beat up and you have to save the dogs. Um, people sort of are just like, oh, you know, uh, you must be so brave and so strong. And then like, they'll, really, they're asking you a bunch of questions and pretending to be concerned, but it's only because they want to write a book about you. You know what I mean? That's a big thing in LA. Um, so yeah, long story short, not as bad in practice as the idea is. Um, more negatives from being out than being in. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, I, a lot more people have been subscribing to that and I've actually been kind of it's been weird because I don't know what I'm doing differently, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to ask any questions. I wonder if maybe it's because the long form YouTube videos are more, people get more invested in those than the TikToks, which were 30 seconds or 15 seconds. So, um, it, it might be less people, but those people are more invested, which is great. So thanks guys for everything. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's it, I guess. Uh, see you later.